एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम there is an application of coordinate geometry in engineering we we'll learn that application in today's video hello everyone i am anmol bhatia and welcome to s chand academy today we'll be learning the topic cnc machining if you want to uh, have the detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below so in today's video we'll be learning the concept of cnc machining this is a topic of the course manufacturing practices so let us start with the topic before coming to cnc machining let us look at the concept of machining so we should firstly understand that what is machining so this machining can be described as a process of metal removal uh, this can be explained with the help of the diagram in this diagram you can see that the work piece is attached to uh, this chuck and this chuck keeps on rotating so this provides a rotary motion to the work piece and the tool is stationary and majorly we are uh, giving the tool a motion in this direction so majorly we are uh, traveling or we are making the tool to travel from this direction to this direction so that the material removal takes place additionally we are also giving a depth of cut to the tool also so that it is inserted into the work piece and the metal is removed in the form of chips so there is a relative motion between the work piece and the tool if i look at some other process let's say if i look at the milling process so in milling process you have a milling cutter there and you have a work piece and the milling cutter is rotated in this direction and the work piece or the job is fixed so when we rotate the milling cutter so it would remove the material uh, and material is removed uh, in this particular depth in that particular parameter is called as a depth of cut and uh, that depth of cut is being um, removed from the um, the actual parent metal so here also there is a relative motion between the tool and the work piece in the third situation uh, there is a case of drilling in which we have a multi point tool which is a drill and the drill is rotated in this direction and also it is being inserted into the work piece here in the work piece is kept stationary and the tool is rotated so there is also a relative motion between the two so what happens in in case of a cnc machining we need to provide automation and uh, with the help of computers or with the help of a program we can do this kind of machining so let us look at the concept which is there behind the cnc machining so here we have a work piece and we have a table majorly our aspect is to give this work piece a motion which is this motion which is the linear motion so for this we connect this slide to the ball screw so here we have a ball screw which is connected so majorly this has been given a rotary motion so here uh, we provide a rotary motion and that rotary motion is converted into the linear motion of the work piece and they have the connection with the servo drive so with the help of this servo motor this rotary motion takes place and this is being coupled to the ball screw so that this attachment takes place and ultimately the work piece movement is possible so what happens here uh, you had the rotational motion which is of the spindle drive so here in the spindle case we provide the rotatory motion and that rotatory motion is being converted into the linear motion in case of the table drive we have the linear motion so here in case of the cnc machining what happens the rotational motion is converted into the linear motion and this conversion is done with the help of this ball screw or rack and pinion arrangement in the previous case i have told about the ball screw attachment 
then we have the guideways guideways are basically that particular uh, component in which it restrict or it performs the motion strictly in that particular direction so if we want the motion in x direction it will strictly perform the motion in that x direction also we have servo motors uh, which would provide the power to this drive and that power is basically the hydraulic uh, scenario in which the servo motor is driven here we have DC, we can have dc drives we can have ac drives or the stepper motors can be used here and then we have encoders for the feedbacks and this feedback is necessary in order to give uh, an information to the worker about any sort of malfunctioning so here we have an encoder or a feedback system that gives a feedback to the initial panel so that the any sort of malfunctioning is reported at that time so let us come at the definition so the definition of numerical control initially before coming to the cnc let us first understand the basic technology which is being developed which is nc and it was developed in uh, late 50s and this technology is based on a machine and that machine uses a readable set of codes so we have codes here and the machine reads that code and generally controls the activities used in the operation let's say if we want to opt for the turning operation or if we go for uh, the taper turning operation so that operation is being controlled with the help of the machine and that is being done with the help of set of codes these codes are majorly in the form of numbers letters alphabets or symbols so majorly we come across the two codes which are g codes and m codes and uh, they have the alphabets and a number is associated with it and both of them together collectively will be called as a code and we write the codes together so that an information is being predicted there now uh, these symbols or codes or uh, numbers it refers to the specific distances or the functions that we want to perform for the machine tools and it majorly machines the work pieces there so in order to machine the work pieces we should have the combination of all these and make use of uh, the entire set of programs so that the process can be achieved or the process of metal removal can be achieved so nc is basically the numeric control which uses the machine readable codes and that program would control the activities of its operations then we have certain components of the nc system in which we have three components one is the software then we have mcu which is machine control unit and third is the machine tool that we have so let us first look at the software so what is software software i have told you that it is the set of program or majorly the program that we include into the setup and that is basically punched in the form of a tape so we punch the code in the tape and that tape is inserted somewhere in the component of the machine and majorly it would perform the actions so basically you have the software and that software is basically called as the program and you punch in the program in the tape and that tape is being fitted into a control unit so that software do what that software controls the sequence of movement of the tool and uh, this programming we do manually so there is a manual uh, usage of the programming herein the programmer plans the operation sequences and performs the code uh, or writes the code of instructions that is majorly called as the part program so what is a part program in in the part program we have uh, a sequence of operations we list down the sequence of operations and those sequence of operations are being converted in the form of code and that particular code is called as a part program and i have told you that that part program is punched in the tape and the tape reader records the uh, the code and send it to mcu so mcu is the next component that we will be looking at 
so the second component is mcu which is machine control unit so in mcu what happens the system consists of electronic circuit which is called as the hardware of the machine and it reads that nc program interpret it translate it and it is used for the mechanical action of the tool so basically that part program which is punched in the tape that tape is being fed into the tape recorder that re tape recorder will send a signal to the machine control unit and ultimately the machine control unit would interpret that program and finally perform the mechanical action but the mechanical action would not be performed without the use of the third component which is machine tool so machine tool is to be incorporated with these two so that the uh, action can be performed without the human intervention so what is this machine tool so machine tool is basically the output generating unit of that nc system and it is given uh, that part program from mcu so mcu transmit that program of instruction to machine the tool and that is uh, to generate the relative motion between the workpiece and the tool so as i have told you initially in, in in case of machining that there is a relative motion between the workpiece and the tool and that relative motion is also achieved in case of the nc system but that relative motion is done with the help of a part program and in between the two there is a bridging unit which is mcu machine control unit that would interpret the program and perform the necessary actions with the help of the machine tool then there are certain advantages of the nc system number one is greater accuracy is achieved then consistency is there in the quality the same part can be reproduced again and again because there is no human involvement here the human error is minimum the rejection rates would be minimum and there would be scraps which is reduced uh, you can utilize the machine better as that idle time is reduced now so that idle time would be in seconds and the production rate is high and the production cost per piece would be reduced if you incorporate that kind of system operator skill does not matter here you do not require a high operator skill uh, because the system is automated and it can work on its own less physical participation of the worker is there so lesser risk of injuries or it would lead to increased safety in in terms of the perspective of the workers there are certain other advantages also number one is uh, if there are changes in the part that can be incorporated uh, simultaneously just we need to make a program uh, produce a, uh, that program in the form of a tape and insert that tape into the mcu transportation cost is also reduced here what happens there are fixtures for changeovers let's say if we are performing with one tool and after performing we need not to change that uh, particular scenario only the fixture for the tool would be changed so reduce reduced transportation time of the material uh, would be there that ultimately leads to reduction in the cost there would be reduced inspection and uh, that reduced inspection is there because of the reliability of the nc machines lesser scraps are produced and redu reduction is there in the setup times there are certain applications of the nc system you can use this nc system when the system or the when the parts that you want to produce is intricate or complex so if you have complex parts that are being uh, produced or that you wishes to produce then you opt for the nc system additionally uh, the parts which are subjected to frequent change changeovers or changes needs to be manufactured with the help of the nc system here the batch production is low to medium because repetitive components are made with precision so here this uh, metal removal rate or low to medium batch production is there in case of the nc systems apart from advantages and certain applications of the system the system has certain disadvantages also number one is the investment cost is higher in terms of the purchase of the equipments and if any equipment or any component uh, is damaged 
So for that uh, particular situation, you need to purchase a new component and in that uh, situation, it leads to investment cost. It leads to increase in the cost. The, there is higher maintenance cost. We need to maintain these machines carefully. And also we have a cost of training the NC personals because we want to prepare the part program each time and that part program is prepared manually. So for that purpose, we need to train the NC personals separately. That would incur an additional cost into the system. So with this, we come to the end of the first part of the video wherein we learned about the programming part of the NC systems. We have an introduction about the case of CNC and NC systems. In the later part of the video, we'll classify NC systems and we'll see how this NC system is different from the CNC system. If you want to have the detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.